YouTube, what's going on? Yo, so I got another rant, a little rant. I'm sorry. I really got to let this out. New York weather is crazy. So the other day, it was like 60-something degrees. You go, go outside in a t-shirt and shorts, you know, you'd be chilling. Now, today is like 20-something degrees. It's freezing. The wind chill is nuts, man. There is no possible way for people to catch up. Your immune system can't catch up with the weather. It's nuts. It's just nuts. So people are getting sick. A lot of my buddies are getting sick. A lot of my friends are getting sick because they just can't catch up with the weather. And on top of that, their immune system is just not as strong as mine, I guess. You know how the saying goes, like, an apple a day keeps the doctor away something? Some weird thing like that. I think that was a saying. I could be wrong. But, yo, honestly, one of these a day, this is some legit vitamin C. One of these a day will definitely keep the doctors away. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I drink this like I drink my coffee a lot. And that's a lot. And maybe that's why I'm not getting sick. All right, pro tip, pro tip number one from Royal Canvas Exotics. Don't say I never gave you guys anything. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You take your happy little behind to the pharmacy, right? You grab a couple of these or, or a few of these vitamin C packets and actually take the packet. You know what I'm saying? Like, take the vitamin C. Here. Here's what, what's going to happen. I'm going to show you guys what you got to do, all right? It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard. You don't need a, a, a science degree for this. Um, yeah, all you got to do, you know, open the packet, of course. You see this? You don't need a mug like this. So this is a special mug. You know what I'm saying? It's got some... This is a special mug. Anyway, just pour it in like so. You know, get some water in there. Shake it around a little bit. Once you mix the vitamin C with the water, you just drink it. That's all you got to do. You just drink it. You know what I'm saying? You do that once a day, and you probably won't get sick. You probably won't get sick. Probably won't get your coworkers sick. Look at that. Problem solved. I just helped y'all out. Don't say I never helped you out with anything. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, I wanted to show you guys the progression of my breeding season this year. And honestly, I am super excited. I know I say that a lot, like a lot, a lot, but I am super excited for this season. Last year, I was super excited because it was the first time ever seeing a lock, seeing an ovulation for myself, seeing um, eggs, you know what I'm saying, and seeing the hatchlings born. Dude, that was, an, that was a crazy experience I, I don't think I'd ever forget. And I'm super excited because honestly, this year there's some next level stuff going on. Well, next level stuff going on for me. That in my, um, you know, my definition of next level stuff uh, going on for me. So, like, I'm super excited to kind of share this journey with you guys so you guys can see what's going on over here. I know I showed off some of the females in my last videos that I'm breeding this year, but I actually have a couple locks going on right now and a couple pairings and you know, I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and one of the females are actually ovulating as we speak. She might be at the tail end of her ovulation. Nonetheless, hopefully we could catch it and you guys could see it a little bit. Let's just jump right into it. I don't know if you guys could see what's going on right here, but it is huge. I don't want to mess with her too much. Can you guys get a good view of that so it's not showing very much on uh, on camera to be honest <laughs> now that I see it it's not looking too good on camera but she's for sure is ovulating and I'm super excited for that I'm sure you guys already know why I'm super excited for that because she's a spot nose double head puzzle clown and she's paired to my pastel double head puzzle clown so if even if we just hit a puzzle clown or a pastel uh puzzle clown that would be nuts like to me that would be nuts so yeah blue clip right here means that there's a male in there and you know self-explanatory you know what i mean the phantom head puzzle she made a mess obviously of course they made a mess and boom she's paired to my puzzle male who's currently locked up, as you can see. Oh, sorry, dude. I freaked him out. So yeah, I don't want to disturb them too much, but once again, this is my Phantom Het puzzle. So hopefully we get like a Phantom puzzle, because that would be pretty dope as well. I'm gonna have to clean that water later, but I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Het Pied female, that's paired to my Cypress Het Pied. They're not currently locked right now, but when I checked them this morning, they were locked, so I, I guess I gotta take that mail out. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty dope. Some cypress pieds that would be pretty, pretty nuts. This girl right here is a double head puzzle lavender. 
she is currently not wrapped up they look like they're cuddling which sucks like dude do your job sorry no i'm sorry honestly i think he's about to go in the shed she, he's usually just as bright as this um she actually just got a, out of a shed so he's he looks like he's about to go in the shed so they're probably not going to be doing much all right this is my clown female uh they made a mess of course and that is my super pyro pastel lesser yellow belly and he's currently locked up as you can see boom look at that doing his thing i don't want to disturb you once again made a mess damn it either way i just changed that water too so whatever but that's dope they're locked up hopefully we get some eggs from them this is the other pairing I have going on right now. The uh, Fire Clown to my Orange Dream Desert Ghost. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this before. Oh, they're not locked up right now. They were actually locked up. Damn it, I missed it. Sorry guys. So that's pretty exciting stuff for me, man. I'm super excited. I actually wanted to show you guys some more locks, some more copulations because most of these males were locked up with the females like this morning. I leave to work super early in the morning. It was around like 5 a.m. where I came in here and checked on them and I actually saw them locked up, you know? Uh, <laughs> and now it's like the afternoon, so I gotta take some males out. Well, clearly, my timing's a little off, so I wasn't able to kind of show you guys what I really wanted to show you guys, but hopefully I catch them next time. So this is my Frankenstein incubator. You know, I made this out of a drink fridge. You know, I got the heat tapes up there. Got the thermometer attached or uh, thermostat attached i got this attached there that measures the humidity boom stuff like that yeah i wanted to get another ear out of it honestly i had this thing running for over a month now because i'm just super excessive like that i don't know why but Extra. yeah I want. what'd you say extra. annoying you are extra i am super super extra all right, so this is my whiteboard where I have the pairings, the locks and stuff like that is where I annotate a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It looks pretty crazy right now because I live in a life of chaos. Since you're here, babe, everybody say hi. Hi. Tell me this doesn't work wonders. Like, I was telling the... Are you kidding me? What happened when you got sick? What happened when you got sick? You drank this and then what happened? You weren't sick no more, right? No, I was still right? sick, but I was better. But you, you was getting better. It's a process. You don't just get well overnight. Like, everybody knows that. But this flavor is not good. You should get pink lemonade. <sighs> Either way, whatever's available at the store, don't be picky. Just drink it. It's whatever. Like, just chug it. You know what I'm saying? No one's drinking it for flavor. It's vitamin C. You need it. Okay? Okay, we're all, we're all in consensus on that. So yeah, I showed I showed everybody some of the pairings that we got going on and some of the males were locked with the females. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I have a cut on my head. Oh my god. And I put hands on Maybe this was a bad idea. Babe, get out. Okay. Get No, 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 come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to take out Luna. Luna? The, yeah. So I want to show you guys our, our, uh, our boa. Updates you a little bit on our boa. She's beautiful. Oh, she looks like she's in shed. You told me to take her out, and yet you're taking her out. What is this? Because you're a big puss. Well, you didn't let me take her oh, out. Oh, look, look. She took some cocoa chips out with her. You think she got bigger? I think she got a little... Yo, honestly, I think she got a little bigger when we from when we first got her. Because she was tiny. Tiny. This girl is beautiful. Babe, what are you doing? taking coconut she wants to hold on to it she likes the coconut chip Whew, it's getting hot in here but yeah check her out she's awesome i love this girl she's growing growing slowly but surely show her off a little bit baby you you we want to block your ugly mug out of it a little bit <gasps> excuse you no yeah you're ugly i'm not ugly <laughs> I'm just kidding. She is super dope, right? And not her. She's pretty I'm whack. I'm pretty dope. She's pretty dope. Some of these snakes I have are pretty dope. I know. The lychee's I... pretty dope. I know. I'm dope. She's nah. She's still on the fence. She's still on the fence. She still hasn't jumped the dope train. 
She's always trying to get me bit. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this channel and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because uh, I really wanted to show you guys some of the copulations and the ovulation that we had. Hopefully that showed up on the camera. That ovulation I'm super Choke excited him out, for. Choke him out. <laughs> um, yeah, this is why she's super whack. Anyway, I hope you guys had a, nice. an amazing week. Please don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. You know what I mean? Leave a comment, whatever. And this, if this is your first time watching my channel, I don't know where you've been. No, I'm just playing. If this is your first time watching this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Ding. You know, every, yeah, I'm sure when you hit that subscribe button, it goes ding, I guess. <laughs> whatever. But I deeply appreciate it. All your constant support, I deeply appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. We out. Peace. Why you gotta whisper it? Just, just peace, man. You know what I mean?